Today we're going to be changing the oil on a 2015 Chevy Impala 2.5 four-cylinder. So what you're going to need is some oil. I'll cover that just a little bit later as to the type, uh, but the capacity is five quarts. So it's pretty handy to go to the store and buy a five quart container. And you'll need a fuel filter. You'll need an oil filter. And I'll go ahead and put all the links in the description. So if you just want to go down and click and buy and have everything shipped to your house that's fine or you can go to the auto parts store all right we got the car in the garage and now we're going to talk about the oil capacity and type i already told you it's five quarts um, but i also was relying on this statement here and it also tells us that uh, 5w30 is what we want to put in this however right there it says 520 so you can see I got the 530. Uh, one thing that we do want to pay attention to is the Dexos. Got the Dexos. And then we've got the oil filter. We're going to go ahead and change the oil. First thing we're going to do is loosen the cap here. Just to allow better flow while we're draining the oil. We'll go down to the bottom, put a drain pan down there, take off the drain plug and let the oil come out and then we'll get the oil filter out all right here we are under the car you can see the oil pans right here oil filters right here nice and convenient and the drain plug is right there it's 15 millimeter so we're gonna start draining some oil Tried to show you a trick on how not to get oil all over your hand. As you get this backed out, keep pushing pressure on it, pushing toward the oil pan, and then as you're about to get the threads all the way out, keep holding pressure until the threads are no longer engaged, and then pull back and up. And you got clean hands. All right, we're gonna let that drain for a little bit, and then we will put the plug back in and get the filter out. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the other filter out and get it ready to go. All right, so we've got our oil filter here. I'm gonna take our new oil, dip my finger in there, get some fresh oil on on my finger, and then. Put a nice coating around here. This will just keep it from seizing up on the engine block. And we'll be able to get it off when we change the oil next time. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put the drain plug back in. And then we'll work on getting the oil filter out. Grab our 15 millimeter wrench. And just like the oil filter, you don't have to... Really crank on these, and I'm sure there's a torque spec, but I don't know what it is. We're about to pull this filter out. We're just going to twist this off, hopefully by hand. And if not, I've got an oil filter wrench. When you have filters that are straight up like this, sometimes you'll still get oil all over your hands. But you also want to get your drain pan under it. Okay, that's normal. That's how it should be. Uh, we shouldn't have to be uh, jabbing screwdrivers in there to take them out or I mean an oil filter wrench is fine but yeah there we go thought I was staying clean on this one I was wrong okay here we go so we'll let this drain a little bit then we'll put the other oil filter in. And some people, especially when you can get the oil filter straight up in there, some people will fill the oil filter uh, prior to uh, installing it, but I don't, and I don't have a good reason for doing it or not doing it. So if you have a good reason for doing it, let me know in the comments below. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying I don't do it. So when it's done dripping, I'm going to 
come in here and clean up that oil where the filter mates to the metal. Bring in here. Let you see it. Alright, we're going to put the new oil filter in. This goes right up there. Spin it on. And about like that. That nice rubber seal is going to hold all that oil in there and we don't have to worry about cranking it down either. Alright, so we are done under the car. I'm going to slide out of here. I'm going to get you out of here. I'm going to get oil pan out of here and then we'll put oil in from the top. Now I'm going to clean off this o-ring here. Make sure there's no debris on it. Okay. Put the cap back on. Quick easy oil change. Uh, I'm going to check the oil real quick. Wipe this first pull off. And we're right in the middle of the hatch marks. I'll get it down off the ramps, check it again. If it needs more, I'll add a little more. But uh, that's it. We're done. This was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments below. And I'll have a link in the description to the oil filter, the oil, uh, miscellaneous parts you might need, the drain tray, ramps, wrenches, things like that. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you on another video.